Welcome. Today's lesson is on how to make your own video using a Chromebook. I'm actually using a program to record another program. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic, but that doesn't work on the Chromebook, so we're going to get something called Screencastify. So the first thing you do is get to Google and make sure you're logged in under your name. and go to the Chrome Store. You can search under Chrome Store and what pops up is Chrome Web Store. This is where you can get lots of, of free apps or extensions. So click on that and it will take you to the Chrome Web Store. Then go type in the search area for Screencastify, which is Screen, S-C-R-E-E-N, Castify, C-A-S-T-I-F-Y. So type that in and it will take you to this page and Screencastify should probably be the number one hit. Yours will say free here. Mine says rate it because I already have this extension. So click on free and it should upload the extension right onto your toolbar up at the top. So once you have that, you're ready to go to the page that you want to record using Screencastify. So I made a video, or not a video, I made a PowerPoint presentation, take that back, a Google presentation, and I want to record that, just like you're going to be recording your Google presentations. So when I get to the right page, I'm going to hit the Screencastify button, which is this film at the top corner. So I'm going to push that button. And I have a choice between tab and desktop. And I'm going to select tab. And I also want to have tab audio and also the microphone. I want both selected in case I have a little video that I want to play in my presentation, which you will have to have. And then I'm going to press the start recording button. So this tab is currently being recorded. So I want to go to the present mode. And I'm going to talk about Democritus. So here is the information, and you'll see later when I actually record this. And I can go from slides and talk about what's happening. I can even play a YouTube, which is embedded in my presentation. And turn on my sound. We're guaranteed to laugh. And so there I have it. I can tape what I want. When I'm done with this, I am going to push the Screencastify again, and I'm going to stop the recording. So when you are done and you like your video, then you want to share it. So then you're going to push the share button, and it will give you some options. <clears throat> One of them you have to uh, accept the conditions that they give you, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to share on YouTube. You probably want to make that unlisted and have only people who have the link to the view it. I like to make mine public, but as students you probably should go unlisted and then you can share it just through the link. I'm going to leave mine public for now and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. So then I upload it, and then I can check back to YouTube later on, and it should be uploaded to my YouTube account. So there you have it. I recorded the video, I shared it, and it will go to YouTube. Before you delete this, you may want to go to YouTube and make sure it's there. Otherwise, you might want to save it to a disk or try another one. Oh, and here it does. Sorry. It does tell me it's shared and gives me the link that I can pass on on our community page. So you cut cut you can cut and paste this on our community page. So there you have it, how to record, how to share, and then you upload it on our community page. So thanks for listening. I look forward to seeing all of your videos.